This is video 6 in topic 10 on how does a compass work. In this video we're going to be looking at the magnetic field around a current carrying wire. So we've seen that moving charges or a current in the magnetic field feels a force. But it was actually found that a current actually generates its own magnetic field. This was first discovered by Hans Christian Ersted in 1820 when he was giving a public lecture in physics and he noticed that a compass needle was deflected by a current travelling through a wire. So let's have a look at this now. Once again we've got a 12 volt battery going through a circuit with very little resistance. So we're going to have a very large current in this case. So there's a switch again so that we don't have the current flowing for too long. So you can see here I've got a simple compass. So this is just a magnet which is free to move, which is just what a current, what, what a compass is. If we spin the compass, it's fairly randomly aligned at the moment. But now if I switch the switch, you can see it lines up with the magnetic field lines of the wire. So to prove that, let's switch the direction which the current is flowing and see if the compass needle points in the opposite direction. Okay, so the direction switched. Switch my switch. And the red bit is now pointing out of the screen towards you, whereas previously it was pointing back into the screen. So this actually tells us about the magnetic field lines around this wire. We can see that they're pointing outwards at the bottom of the wire. So how magnetic field lines around a wire actually look is if you have a long straight wire, the magnetic field lines wrap around in circles around that wire. So we actually have another right hand rule for working out the direction of the magnetic field around a current. Now this is commonly known as the right hand screw rule. So in this rule, your thumb points in the direction of the current and your fingers then wrap around the wire showing the direction of the magnetic field. So once again, because you've got lots of fingers, there's lots of magnetic field lines wrapping around the wire like that. Now we can actually calculate the strength of the magnetic field and it actually drops off as we increase our distance from the wire which is what we would expect. If this magnet was, if this compass was further away, we would expect it to sense less magnetic field from this wire here. So in order to calculate the magnetic field strength, we can use the formula B, which is equal to mu naught I divided by two pi R. Now in this equation, B is the magnetic field strength in Tesla, Mu naught is a constant known as the permeability of free space. Mu naught is equal to 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 tesla meters per amp. I is the current in amps, 2 pi is just 2 pi, and R is our distance from the wire. So let's solve a problem using this formula now. So the question is, a wire carries a current of 2.50 amps. Part A, calculate the magnetic field strength at a point P located 5.00 centimetres from the wire. Part B, sketch a graph showing how the magnitude of the magnetic field varies with distance from the wire. Okay, so for part A, we're going to need to use the formula B is equal to mu naught i over 2 pi r. We just need to substitute in here. Mu naught is equal to 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7. i, that's the current in the wire, we're told it's 2.50 amps. Then we've got 2 pi and r, that's the distance from the wire, and we're told that point p is 5 centimetres from the wire, so this is 0 0.0500 metres. So let's cancel out this pi. We can cancel out one of these factors of 2 as well. And now we need to solve it on the calculator. So we've got 2 times 2.5, so 5 times 10 to the minus 7 divided by 0.05, and that gives us 1.00 times 
times 10 to the minus 5 teslas. And now we should give the direction of the magnetic field. It only asks us for the strength, but let's just work out the direction as well. Using your right hand rule, point your thumb up the screen in the direction of I, and your fingers at P are pointing out the screen towards you, so out of the screen. Now part B asks us to sketch a graph and so what we want to do is put the magnitude of B on this axis and the distance from the wire on this axis and we can see that B is proportional to 1 on R. So this is going to have a hyperbola shape like this and let's just put on the one that we've calculated here. This is 1 times 10 to the minus 5 and this is in Teslas and this is at 0.05 when this is in meters. So there we've sketched a graph showing how the magnetic field strength varies with the distance from the wire. So in this video you've been shown how to calculate the magnetic field around a current carrying wire. You've seen that the magnetic field lines circle around the wire and that the magnetic field strength B can be calculated using mu naught I divided by 2 pi r. The right hand screw rule gives the direction of the magnetic field lines around that wire. In the next video we'll be using this formula to derive the force felt by a current carrying wire when it's close to another current carrying wire. Thanks to Sebastian Frick for filming this video.